Good afternoon. My name is Tom, and this is Ben, and I would like to welcome you to the Domino booth at Label Expo 2019. We're delighted to introduce to you the Domino N69i integration module offered as, this, as part of this AB Graphics Digicon 3 series hybrid production line. We're going to use this for our 20-minute production challenge, producing more labels in less time and less waste. It's all about combining the best digital print equipment with the most efficient automated finishing line. If you have a look at the screen, these are the labels that we will produce today. Three different jobs, 10 different SKUs, different embellishments. However, I would like to start the clock now of our 20 minute challenge. Ben, good to go. This is going to be our first label. We are producing this also on a fast song top clear medium. We are applying a cold foil and then overprinting with our high opacity inkjet white. Then we are applying orange and violet inkjet. This to have an exceptional brightness as you can see here. We then cut, slit and finish off the labels on the reels required by your customers on the turret rewinder. You will see in a moment that we will start producing our second SQ. The first SQ is the violet one. Our second, the orange, is now printing seamlessly after our first SQ. So there's no waste in between two different SQs. We will keep this job running. There's four SQs in total. And I'll, that gives me a little bit of time to explain to you some of the unique features of this line. So we have a cold full application. And the most unique feature of this line are the two optional buffers that you can see here. One before the domino unit, one after the domino unit. And together with the domino N69 IM web reverse function, it enables us to reduce the amount of waste. And you can see basically the first buffer while it's running, it's um, reduced and the second buffer is completely full. Yeah. And then we have the Domino N69i integration module, including our high opacity inkjet white and orange and violet. This job is also not over varnished because we are using our UV95 food packaging compliant ink. So aside from the exceptional brightness that you saw, it also has an excellent scratch resistant adhesion and light fastness. So there's no need for over varnishing. You notice that we now came to a controlled stop. The web is reversing. During a controlled stop like this, we will have zero waste. You will see that we will, that our last SKU, the blue label, is still in the web part. And we will finish this off later on. Ben is actually now going to change to a new media for our second job, the wine label. So while he's doing this, Allow me to give you a quick explanation on our 20-minute production challenge, what we're actually doing here. So three different jobs, different embellishment. One is going to be with a cold foil application. The second is going to be on the semi-rotary station behind the domino with spot metallic silver ink. And the third one is going to be with a flood matte varnish. Yeah. We're also doing a media change and 10 different SKUs in total. And this going from real to ready for shipment all in less than 20 minutes and with less than 20 meters of waste. You can actually see what we're producing on this 20 minute challenge here behind me on the shelf and also on the other side on the machine. You can see what we're going to produce. Also during this 20 minute production challenge on each job setup, this is the amount of waste that we're going to have. This is roughly seven meters for each job setup. So therefore reducing your cost and showing the best practices for the environment. I would like to get your attention to the last unit here. So Ben is now applying his uh, splice, the red splice that you can see. Normally from the cold foil application towards the splice, that would be waste material. Yeah. Thanks to the buffers, we can keep on applying the cold foil up to the splice. This allows us to keep on producing our blue SKU from the previous job until the splice. So we're maximizing the use of all the media. Notice also the buffer going up while Ben is applying his foil. Once that is done, Ben will start the remainder of this production of the first job. And you will see 
our buffers going down before the domino unit and you will then also notice that the second buffer is gonna go up yeah. so this is gonna happen now so normally on a stop like this you would have x amount of media waste also you would have some setup time again so but you can see actually that we will keep on producing our blue SKU continuously so there's no waste on a controlled stop like this So now for our next job, you will notice that we are going to run the red splice through our system. And it will come to a stop at our buffer unit. Then it will reverse and it will stop at the Domino N69 integration module. The reason for this is we want to start producing our second job on this wine media straight after the splice. We want to minimize the amount of waste at maximum as possible during a media change. So you will see the splice ending here. So the only thing now remaining for the operator is to load up his new job on the terminal. He loads up his uh, configuration for the substrate. And then we're good to go again. So we're using the industry standard ESCO digital, um, digital front-end for color management, and this easily integrates with many different workflows. It also integrates with many MIS systems. Actually, here at the show, we are using CERM, and we have done a collaboration in their integration arena in Hall 6. And if you want to know a little bit more on how to set up your production and digital files for printing on a machine like this, we have on the other side of our booth a desk to explain this, and it's called the Digital Solutions Program. Please go and see that if you have some time. So Ben is uh, finishing off the last labels of this first job. And you will see after the red splice, we are printing a lead-in label for our next job. This allows the operator to set up his die cut and his flexor station much faster and more precise. It also reduces the amount of ink being used. Yeah. Then after the lead-in, you will immediately see that we're printing our red wine label. And the first label you see from it is already a sellable label. The machine comes to a controlled stop. And this gives our operator the time to set up his stations. This is really designed to have the minimum amount of waste as possible. While he's doing all his changes, I would like to get your attention once more to our display to give me an overview of this amazing AB Graphics and Domino N69 hybrid production line. There are some unique set of features really designed to simplify your production, reducing your lead times, reducing your cost, and giving you an opportunity to provide an, ex an improved customer service. I'm gonna go from your left to the right. So our first station is the Unwinder. This included the dual-sided web cleaner and the web guide. Then the second station was the semi-rotary flexor station. We used this for our cold fold just before. The advantage of semi-rotary is you can get into restoration with the absolute minimum amount of waste created. And also, you don't need multiple cylinder sets for your different job templates. This is very important to have when you want to run with digital production. Then we have our first buffer unit here, which we used before to reverse the web. And then we have the Domino N69 integration module. This including our high opacity whites, often a good replacement for screen printing. Yeah. It also includes the cyan, magenta, yellow and black, and orange and violet. And this is our extended color gamut. This often in excess of 92% of the Pantone range. So common brand colors like Reflex Blue, 485 Red, are easily achieved by adding the orange and the violet. Important to say as well as Domino has already producing inkjet printers since 1978. So of this technology platform that you see here, we have already more than 700 installations worldwide. So therefore we have already created a unique set of features to reflect our know-how. They're called intelligent technology or iTech features. And this is why you make the right choice with Domino.
Then we go to our next unit, which is the second buffer and also the PC terminal to load up your job settings. We have our second semi-rotary flexo station, which we're now going to use for a spot metallic silver ink for our job. After that, we have the semi-rotary flexo uh, die cut station. AB Graphics are renowned for this technology, rapid changeover of flexible plates, including an automatic plate loader. Then we have the slitting unit and inspection. This is designed to be a single process, so if needed, the turret rewinder can eject small rolls of waste, creating you a no-stop production, therefore increasing your production efficiency. And last, we have now the um, fully integrated turret rewinder with the automatic core size change technology. And this is really designed to output the real amount of labels required by your customer per reel. Last thing is, this unit has been designed to be one single process. So, going from reel to ready for shipment. So there's no need for separate finishing, no need for separate inspection, no need to overproduce, no need to underproduce due to unexpected issues. I see that Ben has already started the remainder of the wine label. We're printing this wine label on a Fasson Rustique Blanc, typically used for wine. We are printing the three SKUs on the Domino N69 with six colors. And then we're applying a spot metal metallic silver ink on the semi-rotary flexor station. After that, we will produce a beer label. And because it's on the same substrate, you will see that we will start printing it straight away after our wine label. It's actually already happening now. You can see the beer label already coming out of the Domino N69 unit or already in the buffer. In between the two jobs, we printed the lead-in label to allow the operator to set up his die cut and his flexor station for this. So the web will move forward towards the die cut station and will come to a controlled stop. Yeah. So, but this controlled stop is made possible by adding digital print marks on the Domino N16i. Okay. So I leave Ben now to change his die cut once more and his flexor station for our last and third job. While he's doing this, one more time, your attention on the screen, because I want to give you really a recap of what actually now just happened. To show you what the these two buffers, together with the Domino N16i web ref reverse function can do for you. So if you look at the display, you can see that we, this is our web path, and we were printing our blue label on the clear substrate. Then we made the choice to go to a second job, and therefore, we came to a controlled stop. After that, we reversed the web. Notice also the buffers changing status. One is going down, the other one is going up. Then the operator had changed his reel, as you can see happening now on the screen. He applies his splice, and now he's going to start, produ the, uh, he's going to start production of the remainder of the blue label. So notice that the splice will move through the system, but we keep on producing the blue label in the Domino N16i. The splice is through the system, comes to stop, and we reverse it once more. The reason for this is, like I said, we want to start producing our, last, uh, our second job on the new media as close as possible after the splice, so that we have the minimum waste on media change. So we finish off the blue label and we start already producing our green label on a new substrate. And the last stop is now to allow the operator to change his die and his flexo station. Once that is done, he keeps on producing. So Ben is now starting our beer label. You see the buffers going up. This is three SKUs. Three SKUs on the same media as before, the Fasson Ristique Blanc. On the Domino N16i, we're printing with six colors. And then we're applying on the semi-rotary flexor station a flood matte varnish. So you can already see that we're outputting our second SKU. And in 20 to 30 seconds, our third SKU will come out. The production will be finished in less than a minute. So if we have now a look at the clock, 
We're at 40 min a little bit above 40 minutes. So I think we can say that we succeeded in our 20 minute production challenge. Ben, really well done, mate. This is what we can do for your business. It translates in you providing an extra customer service, reducing your lead time, reducing the costs, setting a new standard in label printing industry. Thank you.